Hello there. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jessica. And today on Somewhere in the Middle, we're headed to the Mocha Museum. This is the Museum of Contemporary Art here in downtown Los Angeles, right on the outside of our hotel. We're, we're literally turned a couple of feet this way, and there's our hotel that we've been staying at. And uh, admission is free, complimentary. I don't, I don't think it's through our hotel. It's just complimentary here in downtown Los Angeles. You just have to register and get a time slot. And uh, make so, a reservation. Make a reservation, and we're going to do that. So come along. Well, we actually already have a reservation. Our hotel made it for us. Yes. Actually, that was a nice little perk that yeah. our hotel made. Yeah. And if you want to know more about the Omni Hotel, you can check out our for so We'll leave comments or we'll leave information below for free. Yeah, check that out. So come along as we explore the museum of Let's go. I say no struggle no progress that's true you have to keep fighting you got to keep watching otherwise people ain't gonna pay attention tour of MOCA, LA, downtown LA's Museum of Contemporary Art. Uh, filming inside is limited to one minute at a time, so couldn't really do like a constant stream where we're talking at camera inside. Lots of artwork and you guys obviously have shown you that. So uh, I mean uh, overall I thought it was a really nice museum. There was a lot of, of great uh, thinking pieces in there. A lot of stuff to look at that was eye-catching, of course. A great swath of contemporary art here in downtown Good variation. It's a free place. You it's just free have to for book. the public because they wanted to make art available. So it's, it's funded through donations and sponsors. And the art that they have is given to them from the artist. And they would rather put money towards the um, community, is what it said, than... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they actually are free for everybody. Sweet. Yeah, Just gotta so make your reservations. There you go, make your reservations. We were able to make reservations day of this morning at around 10 a.m. Did the same for uh, the other museum that we're going to be visiting today. We will have a back to back museum afternoon mm -hmm. adventure of the two together. Yeah, nice little spot here in the shade. I know Jess is getting a little tired after. Uh, it's the morning. witching hour. I'm ready for a piping hot caffeinated beverage. As Adam the Woo would say, yes. It doesn't have to be piping hot. Ice cold caffeinated beverage sounds good right now too. Yeah. I could do an iced tea or a coffee at the moment. A little step in my, little pick me up in my step. Pep in your step? Yep, I need a pep in my step. There is not an exit through the gift shop at Mocha. Um, you literally have to leave the place and then go somewhere else in order to go to the gift shop, which is kind of stupid in the sense that like, most places when you leave through the gift shop, you're more prone to buying something. Yeah. Here, I. Uh, I was like, do you want to go to the, in my head, I didn't even ask you, but I was like, do you want to go to the gift shop? 
Should we film the gift shop? I guess, let's film the gift shop. So, we'll show you the gift shop. definitely something that if you're in downtown LA it's worth some time how much time do you really need to go through there an hour is fine hour to two hours max yeah hour to two hours max it's kind of like basically one big horseshoe and there's plenty of food around in the area if you just want to eat on a budget there's like Subway and Chipotle and stuff like that it's a nice affordable thing to do don't forget to like this video and subscribe somewhere in the middle <laughs> we appreciate your viewership and spending some time with us it would mean a lot if you'd give us a like, subscribe, and you can even click the notification bell if you want to know anytime we publish a new video. There's the broad. Interesting building.
just got done. We did two museums today. We did MOCA, Museum of Contemporary Art, and we did the Broad. Which one did you enjoy more? Um, I think I like the MOCA just because it's a little bit more personal, quieter, not as busy, so you could really be impacted by the art more. And uh, plus we did it first too, so it got the best of me. Mm. It's, uh, you know, museums are a personal experience, I feel like, and can evoke emotional experiences. And, and speaking of which, I had two pieces, one at each museum that actually are my favorite today. So it's hard to say which one was my favorite as far as museum because there was two pieces that reminded me of being a kid again. Okay. There was the one about the doors at the MoCA. It was yes. uh, like, kind of like going through a clubhouse when you're a kid. I don't know, just yes. evoked that feeling for me. And I love the message as well that came with that piece. Yeah. And it's about backyard patio structure, kind of a picnic table, which just brings happy memories to me mm -hmm. of growing up, um, as well as being in a playhouse. I always had some kind of a playhouse. And then at the Broad, the table and chairs, you got to feel like a child again underneath your table and just oh. looking up there. And they both just kind of made an emotional memory for me of being a child. And so they stand out for me. It was like, uh, I thought with the table and chairs, I thought it like the dog begging for scraps. Yeah. I thought, like underneath, like, what am I going to get? What am I going to get? Is yeah. it okay to be under here? I like feeling like small. Kid. I think I, I'm such a big person. I like to feel small again. I don't know. And it's not very many opportunities to do that. So that was really fun today. She's six foot one and I'm six foot three. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> How about you? Was there any favorite pieces for you? There was a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to like, I, I can probably insert a couple shots. Yeah, those, those were a few things that really stood out to me. But like offhand, like I was, I couldn't like, I, I really tripped out on the Michael and the monkey thing. Yeah, of course. It looked like porcelain. At, at the broad. Michael and his monkey was a weird one. Mm -hmm. There's so much, like, stuff with that. Like, I grew up on Michael Jackson and then everything with him and his life and, you know, the backstories and all the controversies. And so I don't want to get into all that on the episode, but it was weird, like, that, that moment. I think you're right in the table and chairs was amazing mm -hmm. at broad. There was the huge balloon animal, and I was like, oh, I've seen this, like, Instagram, and da da da, -da. So there was a huge, like, poodle. Um, and I mentioned, as I was looking at that video, that, you know, I, I used to, I could do balloon animals. I used to be a birthday party entertainer when I was in high school. I legit was Barney. I was uh, Batman and Robin and, and Ninja Turtles and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know, I did little kids' birthday parties. And one of the things that we did was make balloon animals. So I can make a lot of different balloon animals and it was cool to see one, but you, you can see that one was the most busy that it was like hard to get a shot because everybody was like around it. And yeah, it's very popular, very packed. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, it was more trendy. There was a line to get in if you didn't have reservations. Yeah, so Mocha on the other end was a, like a calm, quiet experience. Mm -hmm. Whereas the broad was far more uh, noisy, vibrant, a lot more people. It was it's a big mix. And not to say that you don't have that at the Mocha, but Mocha just was... It was just common, a lot less people. Mocha was no most, lines. most serene, yeah. I, too. We're actually standing right outside of the gift shop at Mocha, which they're all pretty much central to each other, like we had said. Uh, when we chose the Omni Hotel, flip around real quick. We got the Omni right there on us. There's our hotel. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Omni uh, was central to, again, Mocha, the, the Disney Hall, mm -hmm. right Concert Hall. Street. You can see it from your, from, from your hotel space. And then here, the Broad. Um, and uh, again, lots more stuff down in downtown, but we thought it was, you know, a nicer hotel to pick. And it works in that sense. So um, back on the, on the Broad, great experience, a lot of, of thought-provoking art a lot of eye-catching art. Um, and, and again, if, you, if you're looking for a place that you wanna go and get like that Instagram shot, there's a bunch there. Obviously, you guys got to see a sampling of what the broad looked like mm -hmm. without. You gotta come check it out yourself. Yeah. You wanna see what's in there. Enjoy it. And uh, anyways. So if you I, like what you saw, come visit it. You can also like and subscribe because we'll show you more as time goes on. More uh, episodes ahead of uh, us spending time 
checking out museums, theme parks, dining, and other things throughout Southland, as well as hiking, birding. Please, again, continue. If you enjoyed today's video, as Jessica said, we'd love for you to subscribe and like our show. You can get notifications turned on so you'll know anytime we have a new episode out. And, uh, you know, here in somewhere in the middle, you might wonder, what, what does that even mean? Well, we're somewhere in the middle of our, of our lives and somewhere in the middle of what exactly we do sharing that with you guys. Um, lots of different things ahead and in the future. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next uh, episode. Bye, guys.